we now come to another aspect of the study of statistics the beginning aspect the sources of data collection of data is a complex process very difficult process time consuming process costly process this is why collection of data work is mostly undertaken by government agencies or even if private agencies are taking it they are specialized agencies who sell this data to the interested institutions and persons example of government collecting data the great example is population census you know what is population census counting the number of people living in the country that is population census we are nearly 125 crore people at present and imagine contacting all the 125 crore people and collecting data about them how much costly this task would be how much time consuming this task would be this is why population census is taken only once in 10 years last census was taken in 2011 there are other examples too there is an agency called central statistical office this agency earlier was called central statistical organization now its name has been changed it is called now national accounts so this this agency publishes national accounts statistics this is the name of the magazine published yearly by the cso central statistical office seeing at the importance of this data collection government of india has a separate ministry simply for collecting statistics a separate ministry simply for collecting statistics i have given you a few examples there are other examples also which may take during the course of the lecture the data so collected by government agencies or private agencies it is published regularly in newspapers in magazines in specialized books specialized journals who makes use of this data of course first government for policy making then there are researchers who conduct research then there are businesses who plan their business like this now data when originally collected by an agency it is called primary data it is called primary data 
but when this data is used by others for example there is a magazine called economic survey which takes data from here and there and publishes a sort of a report every year before the budget called economic survey so one agency collecting it and the other agency using it then it is called secondary data one agency collecting so what is origin what is primary data the agency which is reg, which is originally collecting it also uses it secondary data agency which is using it borrows from other sources then that data becomes a secondary data so this leads us to the study of primary data and secondary data so principally speaking theoretically there can be two sources primary source and the secondary source i gave you the example of economic survey there is a magazine called economic survey it is published by government of india every year before the budget and it contains data about all the aspects of the economy of the indian economy this magazine takes data from census of india from cso national account statistics then there is another important organization nsso national sample survey office national sample survey office which was earlier called national sample survey organization now it is called national sample survey office so nearly all the data published in economic survey is a secondary data is a secondary source we have just mentioned about nsso cso census when they publish data that is a primary source when economic survey publishes data it is mainly secondary source so how can we define a primary source we have already given some definition of it data collected and issued by the same agency remember collected and issued by the same agency is primary data data collected by one agency issued by another agency or used by another agency it is called secondary data we have already mentioned the primary sources of data in india there is census of population cso central statistical office publishing data on national income then there is nsso national sample survey office publishing data on industries employment and many other things then there is rbi reserve bank of india publishing data on monetary aspects 
balance of payments aspects in the country. Then there is Labor Bureau. This is important. So Labor Bureau. Labor Bureau publishes data on labor, different aspects of labor. So there are various agencies, primary agencies in the country. It is normally said that primary source is better than secondary source. Let us see why. Why prefer primary source? Why prefer primary source of data? <clears throat> 